fitted. So just wanted to give you an update on the uh, Massimo Warrior 200 mini bike. Uh, so first off, obviously, you know, I, I wanted to take David on on the bike, you know, and uh, it's only a single seater. So um, with some spare material, I welded on a rear seat slash cargo rack. And, um, you know, it's, it's bolted on. I, I welded some brackets, or I welded two brackets on there. Yeah, anyways, welded two brackets on there. Um, made this out of some uh, angle iron that I got from work. And uh, so you can see right here. So this is the bracket that I welded on because I didn't want to drill through the frame and weaken the frame. So I welded on a bracket, you know, in order to keep the, the structural integrity of the frame. Um, and then under here, one bolt there, and one bolt on the other side, which actually is kind of loose, which is uh, kind of scary, seeing as how I took Lindsay on a very long ride today, <laughs> testing it for David. No, actually, David's already been on it too, though. So, um, you can see my ugly welds there, my ugly welds there. So it's just a frame that. And then I have a piece of plywood on there with some styrofoam and other kind of padding and a shirt stapled on there. Um, and again, you can see the uh, angle iron there, the brackets. And there. And then the other thing I had to do was obviously, you know, well, if I've got foot pegs, well, then the passengers in the rear has to have foot pegs as well. So guess what? They got foot pegs. And this turned out to be <laughs> definitely very cool. I definitely got lucky on this. Um, this is actually part of a uh, outdoor patio chair. So this is like, I want to say the, the part of the backrest. So this is the bottom uh, rail of the backrest, you know. And so they had it set up to where I guess, you know, you had this bolt going through there. And, and it, was, it wasn't meant to fold like this. So what I did was I shaved down the corner right here and and it shaved it down there was a plastic uh, cap in there so I shaved down just enough to where it actually catches and puts itself in its locked position and doesn't come down unless you want it to and uh, I was like yeah so you can see I, again I welded right there welded right there underneath um, and you know David rides with those pegs uh, Lindsay rides with those pegs and um i was gonna put some for david like somewhere up here but you know he wants to be a big boy now so uh, i was like oh yeah these are moms i'm like where do you want me to put your pegs he's like no no i'm good i'm good with these right here <laughs> i'm like okay then cool there's less welding i have to do um and you can see the other one yeah buddy and it just stays right there like that like that like that and um and yeah, so the other thing I ended up doing was um, I took the governor off because Lindsay spilled. She, you know, kind of she laid it down and I almost fucking ate shit because the throttle cable, something was getting stuck really bad. I'm talking about real stuff. You're getting stuck on wide open. You come to a stop or you think you're coming to a stop. You press the brake handle and man that thing would just it would just keep going and I went up into the hillside you know onto the rocks luckily I was okay but Lindsay wasn't she had David on the back and so she laid it down and and um and so yeah so I says okay well then no more governor so I took the governor out and it's much more responsive you know so now instead of you know twisting the throttle and it going maybe doing that you know, now, you you know, once it's warmed up, you, you, you twist that throttle and it, boom, boom, it jumps on you. And um, you got more control and, and whatnot. And it doesn't get stuck. That's the main thing. There's no sticking anymore. And um, so I wasn't there when she laid it down. She told me about it later. And I was all, I was like, God damn it. So anyways, um, and on top of that, I'm, I'm able to achieve its actual top speed. You know, before I wasn't, I was able only to get like 17 or 18 miles an hour. Now I can get 30. Um, so um, David's going to have his bike all set up and ready to go. 
So anyways, yeah, but I took David for a ride the other day. You know, one at once at night and once in the morning. <laughs> he likes it. And then um and yeah. So anyways, just wanted to give you that update.